New York-based Shenyun Performing Arts has been showcasing traditional Chinese culture to audiences worldwide for the past four years. Now one of Shenyun's solo musicians, Mei Xuan, says her husband has gone missing. Shanghai police officers say he may have been abducted by Chinese authorities, and Mei Xuan believes it could be an attempt to interfere with Shenyun. Since 2008, Erhu soloist Mei Xuan has been touring with the New York-based classical Chinese dance and music company Shenyun Performing Arts. On February 18th, she was supposed to be reunited with her husband Jiang Feng at New Jersey's Newark Airport, but Jiang never arrived. Mei Xuan says Jiang had checked in at Shanghai's Pudong Airport in China and that his name did appear on the passenger list, but something happened before he could board the flight. According to the Epoch Times, two officers at the Shanghai Pudong police station said Jiang was probably abducted by police from the 610 Office and National Security Bureau. The 610 Office is a Gestapo-like organization the Chinese Communist Party or CCP established in 1999 to crack down on the Falun Gong spiritual practice. Formerly given the title of China's national first-class performer, Mei Xuan and her husband were both persecuted by the Chinese regime for practicing Falun Gong. Mei Xuan believes the Chinese regime kidnapped her husband to interfere with her touring with Shen Yun Performing Arts. Shen Yun's performance is continuing to have a bigger impact, and this continues to make the Chinese Communist Party very nervous. Actually, from the kidnapping of my mother, and later my husband, the disappearance of my husband, it's all because of them targeting Shen Yun. Shen Yun is known for showing traditional Chinese culture, a culture that has been suppressed by the Chinese Communist Party. Some of the songs and dances also depict how the CCP has been persecuting Falun Gong. Mei Xuan says since she started performing with Shen Yun in 2008, her family has been harassed by the 610 office. She is now calling on the Chinese regime to immediately release her husband.